we're just about to roll the video. Kim, her son, and her daughter. Hello, my name's Garrett. I'm 12. Hi, I'm Kim. I'm the mom. Hi, I'm Tiff. I'm 23 years old. She's That's the true. matriarch of the house, but like the dogs and cats are the main centerfold. We live in the most amazing barn you will ever see. It was built sometime between 1717 and 1752, and then it got converted into a house in 1800. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? It looks beautiful. One of the things that's always been a constant in this house is animals. That is Boss. His eyes glow funny because he's blind. I love fostering. Dogs alone, we fostered maybe 30. Between puppies, grown-up dogs, we fostered cats and kittens. So I spent a lot of time dedicated to helping animals. There are some things that would definitely make um, being able to foster easier because we love doing it. Really cute. I love my house. It's beautiful, it's just not functional, and it lacks really any modern conveniences. If it got revamped, it would have so much more use and so much more practicality. Maintaining the true character of this home, it's crucial to me. If I modernize, will it make it better? Or if I modernize, will it ruin it? And that's also why after 16 years, I've changed so little. But I really, really, really need your help to make it special for me and my family. My first instinct is to try and preserve that extraordinary element that really are integral to the architecture and to the character of the house. That's the chow bell. That's It's time oh, for all the kids to come in and eat. Got it? I love it. Come on in. Thank you. Welcome to the kitchen. It's a great space. All this light coming in. I see a beautiful space. I see a huge amount of dysfunction. What is it that absolutely drives you insane about this kitchen? Number one is storage. We have this step up, which is interesting. Imagine this now, wide open. So everything at the front is connected to everything in this great big living room. I love the idea, especially when we entertain, to break down that barrier, have a better flow. That sounds love perfect. It. There's ways of moving furniture that this can just be solved with the way we lay things out. So you've still got your television area. This is so cozy and snug and the whole family and friends and dogs and cats can all obviously hang out here. But it's also nice to have a slightly separate area. Yeah. And speaking of you, what about your office? When we're in the kitchen, we're talking about taking a wall down. I'm thinking that in here, maybe you need to have that closed off. Ironically, I am constantly telling my kids they have to turn the TV down. And I get the, okay. This is decorative. It has sentimental value. It doesn't work. Getting rid of it would be hard for me. Sometimes we have to make tough choices. Yep. Come on, boss, boss. Who's this? Voldemort, even though she's a female. Let's talk about this bathroom. The shower, it doesn't work anymore because this is all broken and rusted. I got to the point where I don't know what to do, so I did nothing. And the kids continued to use my bathroom. This takes you out to the big barn doors. Kim lives in what's known as a bank barn. It's built into the side of a hill or a bank. Both the lower and the upper floors can be accessed from the ground. That made it easy for farmers to house animals on multiple levels. So as you continue towards the back of the home on the second floor, you come into an unfinished area of the barn with stairs to a third level that is huge and from what I can see, mostly unused. It's completely wasted space that could be used for something else. Okay, so listen. Would you love to be able to foster more animals? That's a passion of yours. Yes. I'm walking in here and this is just, to me, ready-made space to be able to have dogs, cats, whatever that is. That's a great idea. It's a great place for it. This whole thing to me is about getting this house to give you what you need it to be. Between the three dogs, the four cats, even the turtle, I need that life, that, and I need 
I need someone to need me. I know exactly how you feel. So I, I've got a lot to think about. This barn is really long on charm and short on function. And Kim's budget of $100,000 is a lot of money. But I'm just hoping it's enough to give her exactly what she's expecting. We need to upgrade the kitchen, create an open floor plan between the kitchen and living room. And we also need to enclose Kim's office and update the kids' bathroom. And at last, I really want to help Kim realize her dream of fostering animals and turn that unused area of the barn into a space to host rescued dogs and cats. The trick is going to be making these extensive changes while preserving the barn's historic charm. But first, Kimberly needs to clean up this space so we can get going. So here we are. We're on your main floor. What we're doing is really creating an open space. The biggest functional change that we need to do here is to get rid of a kitchen that doesn't function on any level. So we're going to take down that wall separating the kitchen from the living room. Now the key is raising that kitchen floor so it's flush, the same as the living area. Then we'll add a kitchen island and a peninsula. This will create such a great space that's both beautiful and functional for entertaining friends. Out is the short fridge and in are all the new appliances and a wall of extra storage. The living space will be given a fresher, brighter look with plenty of places to relax. At the same time, we'll enclose the office for some much needed privacy. Moving on to the upstairs, the kids' bathroom will get a complete facelift with a brand new shower replacing the old bathtub. Lastly, I want to transform the back of the barn into an area that's dedicated to fostering animals. Now, it's a big and drafty open space, so I'm going to have to enclose a section by building walls and a ceiling. The big challenge is ensuring the area is properly insulated and can stay well heated during the winter months. I told Kim I found someone to repurpose the piano, and she seemed absolutely thrilled. Great news. This is going to be a problem. So this is where we are now. I'm going to say I need it gone in four days. OK. You good with that? Fine. We've definitely had a challenge on the renovation, and that's been the piano. Um, honestly, right now, there isn't a resolution. So clearly, Kim is not OK with repurposing this piano. So my plan with Wendell has completely gone, and now I have to find a plan B, because I have to get going with construction. So while Kim is away, our team is going at it. Tub is gone, cabinets have been ripped out. It's all happening. And I'm still grappling with that piano. Hey, Hillary, it's Anthony. Uh, we've come up with a couple things that I think that you should probably take a look at. All righty, see you then. The worst thing is being in the middle of demolition and that phone rings. It's not going to be good news. So I'm here, you called. We've got something to talk about upstairs. So our problem is, is that our shower wall was supposed to come out further. This window impedes on our design here. It looks to be about three inches too far. You're saying that it's three inches into the actual frame of Correct. the window? Correct, yeah. OK, so then what if we forget having a linen closet on this side? OK. So why don't we just take the concept of the linen closet, flip it over to this side, Okay. and that will be the back the wall. The new shower wall back here. That shower wall will be there. And then we can put the, the barn, barn door. door back on. I think it's a great idea. OK. We have a plan. It sounds good. Down, problem like solved. <laughs> So I completely understand that Kim does not want this piano to be cut up into pieces. Fair enough. So I'm going to get Lindsay onto this piano project to find me somebody who would either like to buy it or just have it. Whoever it is has to get here really quickly and take it away. So Kim should be really pleased about this. It's an albatross. My stress levels are back down, and I can't tell you how relieved I am just to know that the piano is safe, sound, and tucked away. And it's not my albatross anymore.
So here's another area of concern. We've got some limitation to insulate this place, you know, that you can actually put dogs out here for an extended period of time in the winter. So also one other thing is I need running water mm -hmm. somewhere so she can fill dog bowls. Right. So the only thing with that is, is that there's no drains and there's no water lines on the side of the house. I think we're going to be pushing the budget. Are you telling me you don't think that we can do this for 5000 It's quite a lot of money. I think that we could do some framing, some drywall, and some insulation. I know Kim loves fostering, and I'm the one who brought up the idea of using the back of the barn to make that happen. Now I'm stuck with trying to make it work, and it's turning out to be a really big deal. If the design to make sure that she can do it requires more money, that's something that we may shelve and she'll decide to do later. I could go through what we've allotted for the budget now yeah. and see what I can maximize with that. Then I could give you something else and say, listen, if we want to make it really nice, it's going to cost this much more money. So we had 5000 allocated to this. If we don't do this, mm -hmm. where can we put that to be fantastic? Maybe we could throw it in her office space. Ooh, yeah. We yes. can do some stuff in her office. Be nice. Let me know how much money it's going to cost. I'm going to try and catch up with Kim in the next couple of days. Sounds good. All right. I need to talk to you. Both of us love the whole idea of having the area at the back to create something for the dogs. And it's turning into a nightmare. The cost has come in way, way higher than anybody thought it was going to come in. And it's coming in at $16,000. And I had allocated five, so I'm out by 11. OK. So the big question is, how badly do you really want that right now? Because I know it's important to you. It is. It's something you could always do later, too. Right? Yes. So how about $5,000 being spent in here? for a whole new built-in system for your office. Wow, I think that would be wonderful. I spent so much time in here. That's great. OK, done. Great. All right. And now the time has come, but it's really all about Kim. It's been a struggle for her to get to that place. Hey, Kevin. Hey, how are you? I'm good. We've got a project. It's going to be fun. Awesome. So it's an old uh, bank barn. A lot of base cabinets where a lot of the necessary files, et cetera, that are for work can be hidden away. And then on top of it, this can be a combination of beautiful books. Her television would be in the middle, and then I want you to give me bifold doors that can fold back in. Pocket door is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. OK. So that's what we're doing. Hi. How are you doing? Let me see, let me see. Hold that up. So we're just fitting this just like this right now. I love it. A little bit more and we'll have it perfect. That's so cool. You'd like me to go now so you can get on with your work, wouldn't you? We're very busy and want to get this done for you today. You're so polite. <laughs> OK, I'm going. Bye. Thank you. Every single trade is here. Everybody is working like mad. I'm just hoping that when Kim walks through that door, she really understands this is beyond anything she ever imagined. For sure, it's going to be an all-nighter, because guess what? We have our reveal in two days. Welcome to your home. Wow. Oh, my goodness. It's like a totally different place. But it's not. That's the great thing. This it's is a place where you can really feel at home. And then we have another zone here, which was so important that we separated by putting up the wall here with your yes. office behind it. So this becomes a really great area to sit in. After dinner, what a great gathering spot. And then there was the P word, the piano. You know what? And I don't miss it a bit very important is actually being able to work here. So let's go take a look at that. That's stunning. Well, come and take a look. These have a pocket door because you don't always want to look at the television. Yes. So you can close that off. You have loads of storage underneath, all the storage that you can see here. 
You have this lovely chair and a table that you can sit in to watch television, or someone can come and visit with you in here. You can bring your coffee in, and every single thing that you need for this to be a great space at the end of the day, or at the beginning of the day, or any All day. time of the day. I love it. I love everything about this room. Hi, Voldemort. It's me again. <laughs> yeah. This is just beautiful. The layout is totally different. 